Hey there, boaters. I'm Captain Stacy Hanrahan, and welcome to Friday's episode of Boaters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was provided by Charles Nichols. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Next in Did You Know? How to Rig a Sea Anchor in our Blue Water Sailing segment. Deploying a sea anchor in heavy weather conditions will not only make riding out a storm more comfortable, but also much safer. Tom Tercy from the Maryland School of Sailing goes over sea anchor rigging on sailboats in this month's Blue Water Sailing magazine. Heaving to with storm sails is a smart thing to do in bad weather. Deploying a sea anchor to help you heave to is even smarter. The goal is to minimize damage from crashing waves and to reduce the potential of capsizing. Sea anchors are large parachutes deployed into the sea that slow or stop your boat while holding the bow to the wind and waves. Of course, the sea anchor may be used without storm sails. But using a tri-sail along with a sea anchor and bridle will establish what is called a square drift. In this setup, the bow is angled about 45 degrees to the wind and the boat moves backwards towards its leeward quarter. This creates a slick of disturbed water windward of the boat, which lessens the potential of damaging waves. Before buying a sea anchor and just stashing it aboard, it's important to make sure your boat is equipped with the proper deck hardware. The tri-sail blocks need to be located on the quarter rails to provide a fair lead for the tri-sail sheets to the primary winches. One turning block should be aft of the headstay to supply a fair lead for the sea anchor road through the bow pulpit. A second turning block for the sea anchor bridle is shackled to a pad eye or cleat on the windward quarter. And finally, the rudder can be immobilized with secondary winches for precise positioning without straining the steering mechanism. So you're all set to deploy the sea anchor. And I hate to leave you hanging, but we've run out of time in this segment. So to read all of Tom's tips on deployment and the just as important retrieval of your sea anchor, go to www.bwsailing.com. Now it's time for our boat test reports feature of the week, where we'll take a look at the 31 Pilot by Mainship. Welcome to BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Rob Smith. Today I'm on the Mainship 31 Pilot. For those times when you're at anchor, you have a full swim platform with ladder to enjoy the water. In the cockpit, you have steps molded into the sides to ease getting on board and to make getting to the side decks easier. Main ship gained a lot of room on this boat and I believe they did it rather wisely. For one, they still have a lot of seating topside, which is important because you're gonna do a lot of entertaining on board. The next thing they did is they moved the galley topside. This allows them to gain a lot of room downstairs. You tend to eat a lot of your meals topside anyway. Two burner electric grill, still have a microwave and a refrigerator under the helm seat itself. Setting at the helm, we have reasonable sight lines. We have a center opening window, as well as dual sliding side windows. Up above, we have twin Raymarine E80s that are in good view. We have soft touch wiper controls. To the left, we have a standard bow thruster, optional stern thruster. Below the wheel, we have the trim tabs and switches arranged in good view, and the horn is a bright red, so it's easy to find. With four panels in the door, you're allowing light inside without having to have the door open. In the cabin, I believe you're really gonna appreciate this change. Now we have a full queen size island berth, as well as a lower and upper Pullman berth. This also allows us to have a lot of room inside, if it's raining like it is here today, to enjoy your company. The new pot at 31 measures 35 feet 5 inches length overall with a beam width of 10 feet 2 inches. She displaces about 11,750 pounds and carries 180 gallons of fuel. Her draft measures about 2 feet 6 inches and a maximum headroom is around 6 feet 3 inches. Throughout, I found the main ship stuck to its design of safety, livability, and performance. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the main ship 31 pilot, you can cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. Now let's see what's splashing around in nautical news. 
Time for an Earth Race update. The 78-foot biodiesel-fueled trimaran is attempting to set a new world record for a powerboat circumnavigation of the globe. And with two-thirds of the trip completed more than 1,500 miles ahead of the world record pace, Earth Race just might do it. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing for this funky-looking vessel. Shortly after leaving Spain, where the race began back on April 27th, the ship's head stopped working. Then, an inspection hatch on the fuel tank failed, flooding the sleeping quarters with biodiesel. The latest setback occurred earlier this month when Earthrace hit an unknown submerged object about 800 miles east of the Philippines. The collision snapped blades off her port propeller and cracked her port drive shaft. She had to limp 2,200 miles on one engine to Singapore, where the time-consuming and costly repairs were made. But New Zealand skipper Pete Bethune and crew are in good spirits as their eco-friendly vessel is back on track with only a few refueling stops to go. Earth Race made a prior attempt at the record in 2007 but was forced to abandon the race after suffering extensive haul damage from a series of severe storms. The record to beat is just under 75 days, set by the British Cable and Wireless team in 1998. We'll keep an eye on it, but if you'd like to track Earth Race and her crew's progress, go to www.earthrace.net. And now it's time to reveal Stacy's TheBoaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day, which is... Captain Anthony Plants and his 1955 wage maker, Woody. The Woody has a 1960 Mercury 400E outboard. Anthony is retired from the Air Force. He lives on Fine Lake in Michigan and is enjoying life to the fullest. Welcome to the voters and congrats on your celebrity status. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is... Escape from Monkey Island, <laughs> submitted by Tom Bendowski. <laughs>